opportunity and an excellent test here as Cloud9 is on the attacking side. Already a mid push from Demon1, Doug. Oh my gosh, just getting aggro right off the rip here. Victor, low retake, D setup. Looks very similar to how they played threes, Doug. Yeah, it does. You've got the dog, it's already making its way up. That game is getting so much info. Again, very reminiscent of what they were able to get away with on Breeze. They're doing it again here. Oxy getting the first onto Ethan, though. As they're gonna push back, they've got the Sky Flash, they've got the Paranoia. They're pushing into spawn, but Mark's there on the push back. Crash is getting another. You see numbers start to dwindle down, but Codnight got what they wanted. They got the spike down. 3v4 scenario here. They smoke off the main. This Viper Wall's still up, so they're being cautious. And here, it all comes down to this, Doug. You imagine Cloud Nine's gonna take the fight to their doorstep. I can't imagine they're gonna let him sit back and do their own thing. Zeppa getting one onto Victor. Demon One on the swing. Vanity down. How much more can they find? Whippy and Zeppa still standing. Demon One looking to try to get his one. It's just one bullet left, and that's not gonna be enough. Can Crash just pull it off? No, he cannot. Cloud Nine, get the pistol. Clean post plant. 3v4, just spamming away at the bomb and getting those kills. Demon One looked hot, but he whiffed on an important kill, kill there on Oxy. An excellent start for Cloud9. You see the side uh, of NRG financially. There's not going to be a ton to talk about there. I wonder here, too, we saw the, the impetus that NRG were wanting to execute through when it came to taking space early. We'll see if that continues to be a trend in this defensive side. Yeah, already gearing up here for early B main. Agro play. Looks like Jimmy's going to go for the behind the box play. I think they pinged it. But nevertheless, early default here from the side of C9, using utility too. A lot of utility invested here. Are they aware? That flash looks good. Oxy's on the swing. Gets pushed right back as Ethan gets away with a little bit of something, but he's he's in a lot of trouble. He had nowhere to go. Yeah, when, you, when you're in a position like that against Vandals, it's really going to be tough to find success. Wow. And someone who's really impressed me on this roster has been Whippy. It seems like he's been that, that stone cold killer on their team who's just consistent and stable in that role. And he even out the round, getting three right there. We'll see what they can do here. They're still going to have to get by Crashies and Victor, who have not upgraded weapons. They're still just sitting on their classics. Of course, right on cue, Victor picks He's up got a guardian. guardian. Yep. Is it going to be enough to find success? Really not able to convert into the second, leaving Crashies on his own. It's been unbothered so far. He could be anywhere. I don't think they know where he is. Hey, you're absolutely right. He's going to use that to his advantage. Zeppa falls. He's still healthy. The spin on the Whippy. Can he get away with this? Has to reload the clip as it runs dry. And crashes, converts. No way. No way, Doug. What an insane play. Early aggro. Pop flash play from Ethan. Sneaks a kill. Stays alive for long enough. And now they have a Vandal that they saved in the 1v2. What a beast. Yeah, hopefully we get to take a look at that one more time. That Red Bull Clutch could not come in at a better moment. And Dre, honestly, you, you set it up. They had no idea where he was, and he struck at just the right moment. That's why he's a championship level player, man. What a, what a dog. We'll see what they do Here. here. Demon 1 with the op in round three. Third round op. I mean, Light armor too, but yeah, you're investing into what, I mean, should be Lincoln mission for you. And this is coming from somebody who, in the I last year, spike. has said, he's like, I don't even like opping. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, he's like one of the best operas that we've all seen. That must be nice. You know? NRG opping. taking advantage of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hate opping, I'm one of the best in the world at it, but. Yeah. yeah. What do Cloud9 do from here? You've got the Vandal in the hands of Oxy. You've got a Stinger for Zeppa. And you've got Marv, who's gotten up really aggressive here. So yeah, you can smoke Demon 1 off this angle, but if you don't check Marv, he's gonna get away with a lot, but they're jump spotting, they know. Wow, so confident Marv there, staying, seeing if they're gonna give him anything. C9, wise to not give him early first blood. Nothing really shown on this A side of the map from C9, even though they're dogging B now. I think they're trying to feint it. Already playing with early uh, early feints. It's really clean. And it seems like energy is biting a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Demon 1 came over. Ethan's yep. not far. And we noticed this against Furia. Every time Furia went somewhere, energy realized it was a five yeah. man. Yep. I think C9 did their homework here and realized that energy likes to left. over rotate where they see Cover. the pack. They're able to take elbow. That deep trip with really nothing to punish on the other side of it. They're playing really far off on A. They give it up. 
Satchel over the trip, so that's still up in play for now. Keep a close eye on that. Then remember, it's been a long round, but energy have a massive gun advantage here. That flash is pretty. Victor not able to see a damn thing. Ultimately gets cleaned up, but Marv shows up at just the right time. No upgrade. Oxy was the only one who had a vandal. He dropped that. Cloud Nine's not able to scoop it up right now. Cover going out. So they don't have that to their advantage. Blinding. Look at the mini map. Look at how everyone's moving from C9, readjusting their positions. Here we go. I mean, they've gotten it to half. They're going to stick it. They're playing so far off the side here. And are here essentially unbothered. They get the defuse and a couple of kills come through. Zeppa ultimately, no, doesn't fall. But they played, it, it's almost like Dre, it almost felt like they played too, too far off. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't get there in time. I don't think they expect they expected NRG to just stick the bomb there. Yeah. And that just goes to the, the practice and everything that goes into what NRG's been prepping for. They're so confident in that retake. Crashies has no doubt in his mind his team's gonna hold for him yeah. now and he just gets the defuse. Beautiful. Beautiful retakes already and from NRG. And you can see it in Crashy's face or in the replay. He's just cool, calm, collected. Not a care in the world. Undisturbed. And this is you. Look at this aggro view all. Yeah. I have not seen this yet. Ooh, and a paranoia from Marv too. Nothing really to pounce on it, but that uh, that has the makings of a filthy trap setup. You know, maybe in the next round or something like that. Absolutely, maybe conditioning something mm -hmm. for future rounds. Nevertheless, it's gonna make them have to use more utility to clear that close area out. Looks like they're gearing up to Clear B main space. And on the other end, DB1 creeping up on Oxy with the hop here. Oh, and just at the right time, Oxy's gonna rotate away. What do they really have to go here? They don't have Oxy who's able to dive back line. And it's really kind of on Zeppa to go forward. He has one satchel. It's so hard though. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. Layers on layers for NRG right now. They faint the B main aggro, make them have to use utility to reclear, and now they're stuffing them at the choke. Very well said. Ethan's able to get onto the first crash. Oh, Jeez, as the wall goes down, down hits a transfer onto a second. And Oxy, who is on the other side of the map for the majority of the round, now has to show up and, you know, what the heck happened here? <laughs> We've seen crazier things happen, and it, also, it all starts with one duck. He oh. takes the head off, Mavarv. Yeah, there's that one that you were referring to. There's still so much to be done. You got the high low set up. Oh. He doesn't even get a chance at firing onto the second. So, NRG off of that early aggression that you mentioned, forcing Cloud9 into a brutal spot. Yeah, it's very clean. And right? to be fair, C9 did a very good job of trying do. to bait the utility out, not going out when that Molly is up in the choke, but still so hard to take there. Ethan gets the spam through the, through the Viper wall. Just a full read there from NRG. And tough sledding for Cloud9. The buy is still not great. Light armor on everyone. Two Guardians, a Spectre, and a Stinger with a Vandal to round it off. And it seems like intent on mid-aggression is NRG in this round. Absolutely. And they're doing this, a, this B wall again. But they're just, just walking out mid. They're My so confident. I love seeing this from team. Yeah, and honestly, Dre, on the other side of things, Cloud9 look a little... Man, timid. Scared? Timid, yeah. yeah. I mean, hesitant as to the fact that it feels like, for we've only played, what, four rounds now, but it feels like Cloud9 have never really had breathing room. Absolutely. Early cam, broken at A. But it is a retake setup, and they're already leaning here because they have D1 in mid. It looks like the trips are going to go undisturbed. Well, of course, Oxy will clear that one out. Beautiful. The elbow one's still alive. The dog goes through. They're going to scale up behind it. Do they have any tools? Vanity has Seekers, Wibby has his pit, if he can get it down, but it doesn't matter. Once again, the attack side of Cloud9 just crumbles before they even really get a chance to establish themselves. Whippy's gonna join the fray, Vanity and Zeppa left alone, and yes, it's gonna be one, a parting gift. Wow. But Victor gets three and NRG get another round. And Victor, he's not falling for those, those Mjordu shenanigans that you no. saw Oxy do against my BR on Bind. He's, he's waiting there, waiting for him to just get out of that dimensional drift. Big kill on Oxy there from the likes of Victor. Ends up getting three in the round total. Yeah, they were just staring at each other, and then yeah, yeah. as soon as he comes out of that ult, he gets peppered. And Oxy, he got a, he got away with a lot of those ults. Yeah, he did. In the previous series that he yeah, played, he so why not try it against the best team if it works? Against one of the best teams. If it works, it works, right? Yeah. But I don't it think did. you're gonna see him do that again. Mm. Getting punished like that against mm -hmm. a team like NRG. I just want to talk about real quick, like how confident NRG is going straight into this. Aggro from the first round, right off the rip. 
and it's not really in their DNA to come out of the gates a little yeah. hesitant against any team, and that is really no different against Cloud9. Early timeout called, quick moment for them to discuss things, figure out what's going on, and maybe find some room to breathe, because again, as we were mentioning, Dre, it feels like they've been suffocated yeah. from the very beginning of every round. Yeah, I feel like Energy has had a hard read on them most of these rounds. They're finding out where the pack is, and they didn't even fall for the feint. Mm -hmm. But if they do get feinted on, they, they have the the structure and the fundamentals and the, and the protocols to do the retakes cleanly. I don't think we've seen more than like, what, two people go down on the retakes so far? Yeah, I don't think it's- Besides for the pistol that. round? Mm -hmm. You see, they still have a couple of vaults. We mentioned that pit a couple of rounds ago for Whippy. Jake has his and then Vanity too. Different defensive Viper wall here. And just, they're so creative just with mixing it up. Different looks all around always keep C9 guessing. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the same look. You're absolutely no. right. Scout this time, going. Cloud9 has gotten some space up tiles. They've gotten some space mid, and it was off of an early flash over the top, but... Really aggro here in B main. Smart of C9 to dog him out. He stopped backing down, Doug. <laughs> He's so confident right now. And again, Oxy gets away I'll just when it seems like there's going to be a challenge. Maybe Cloud9 have found a little bit of room to work with as they continue to push mid. But look at how much respect Ethan is showing to this. Instantly gets back into spawn. You have two members coming over from back B. They're okay with giving up the site because they know they can fight for these retakes that you've talked about. And it's like they already knew that they were going to go mid to A. They're already, for it. they're already in the pit. He's pushing the pit. <sighs> He falls, Marv's able to take care of Zeppo, but, but can they get the pit down? So far, no such luck. This might be the round where Cloud9 gets something back. Well, they get something going here. Marv is gonna fall, Demon 1 and Ethan left alone. They've got the op in hand. Yeah, they've got some money, but it seems like they're gonna save this out and play for the next. So yeah, again, Cloud9, a little bit of success up mid. That was very good, and it all came from this Viper, this Viper all as well. This is such a crucial spot to control, and the fact that he got the kill onto Victor here just secured it, honestly. Very hard to retake once you play an aggro viper all like this. I, we barely see this, honestly. I mean, it's super deep, super aggressive. Super aggressive. I mean, you talk about moving, moving, like drawing a line in the sand yeah. in their backyard. That's wild. Uh, you, you can clearly tell that C9 has done their prep against NRG because they definitely watched the Furia match and realized that Furia, almost every single time they had a post plant, played Fair. out. Yeah. They know that if you play out against NRG, uh, it's going to be back. tough for you. You got to disrupt them. You right? That's the what they're trying hour. to do. Man, it sounds like a war zone outside. I can hear helicopters through my headphones. And yeah, war zone indeed, Doug. Tommy, war zone what indeed. Is going on out there? Oh, she's popping off. <laughs> yeah, she, she's going in. <laughs> we'll see what they have here. Zeppa's ult is online. A heavy stack towards A. Another wall. Another new wall. I mean, dude, they have, they're have. they so prepped for this map. This is wild. It's not very often you see a solo jet as well. You would imagine they commit to this here, but if Victor plays his card nice. right, he almost got that kill. He's stuck now. Whippy tried finding a late lurk across back spawn, but it was actually Demon 1 who pushed all the way up, gets the kill. So now you have to be concerned, paranoid about the flank that could be coming at any moment. Huge Attention stuff. divided. Do they focus on what's before him or what could be behind if Victor falls at the hands of the showstopper? The flash out of the smoke crash. He's couldn't see anything more. Can't punch back either. Cloud9 seemingly with the new lease on life in these last couple of rounds. What? A chance for something. Demon 1 getting another 1v2. He's got op. He's got blades. Hasn't used him. If he finds one with the op, he's got a shot at this thing. He lands it. It's a fake TP. Oxy played him. That's another round for Cloud9. Oxy learning from his mistakes. Jukes him out this time. You have Vanity sitting outside of B. He's going to try to throw all the attention with that Viper wall. Came off for B. It was a deep smoke, oh a God. flash, nothing found. Demon one with blades. He's alone here. We've talked so much about how good Ethan and Crashies have been at setting him up. But this is a solo mission from beginning to end. And you can see Vanity still in spawn. He knows there's going to be something. And there's the flash. Did he wow. get behind it? No, he didn't. But the thing is, it could be top mid, it could be right next to him, and that's exactly where he is. Surely he spotted him at this point! Knife out! Vanity drops him! So smart, Doug. But dude, talk about knowing exactly what was gonna happen. What a bait. And now, right into it. Yeah, and all of this, Cloud9 have a lot more room to work. They have a lot more options, but Ethan could play spoiler. The first falls, the second does not. 
Oxy with the counter punch. Are you expecting crashes? Yes. Oxy just not slowing down. Can Marv clean things up? He cannot. Victor there on the trade. The spike down. Mid. Now 1v2. Spike well out of reach for Cloud9 as well. Doug, you're ready for one. Are you ready for two? What about the third? What about yeah. the fourth? It's just wild. 30 seconds what left. A, what a battle in mid. Interesting. Oh. Interesting here too for Victor to reposition to give up his hold on the spike. Try to catch maybe a late lurk. Oze ultimately guessed is wrong, but that's going to allow Cloud9 to scoop the spike up. Head towards B. Vic has no cam here or anything. 10 seconds left. And the clock is ticking. Can, spike planted. can Cloud9 hold him back? Yes. Ooh. Yes, they can. Whippy with clean shots Ooh. as Cloud9 ties us up at four. Ooh, baby, Whippy hitting shots like that. We know that. what we're doing. Trust each other here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here. Nevertheless, it's a tie score. 4 4. Let's see if we get a look at that one more time. I mean, there was just a flood, a flurry of fighting that happens across <laughs> mid and things ultimately settle into that 1v2. So again, out of the timeout, you saw a slightly different approach from NRG, but the same results. Now three rounds in a row yes, for Cloud9. Op still in the hands of Demon1, and this time he's he might nice. get a challenge, but he's gonna get pushed off by the Dimensional Drift. He's ahead of it! Wow! With reckless abandon, pushes forward, punishes Whippy, and then gets away. Yeah, Oxy's all the way back there. He tries to get out, but he cannot. Ethan is there to greet. Ethan is there to punish. Jake tried getting backside, not able to do it. Vanity left alone, 1v3. Victor on the other side of the smoke. Demon 1 not far off. A triple stack like that will be too much for him to handle. NRG take the lead back. I mean, talk about threading the needle on that. Yeah. They, they literally can see him on the mini map. They can see him in front of him. And he still goes for the peak, still gets one and gets out and lives. And Oxy again punished using his ult. Dude, that, I mean, that's a, that's a player just like taking matters into his own hands. Absolutely. Understands like there's the tiniest window that I'm gonna be able to punish here. And that's exactly where Demon 1 hits. It's kind of like he had a talk with himself. He was like, yeah, I played good last match, but that's not as good as I could be playing. You know? <laughs> let, me, let me try this. <laughs> let me step it up here. Two rifles for Cloud9. Again, the early off angle, this time flash in the face. Interesting here too, they've left Marv. I can't the, imagine they're gonna go back that way though. And Doug, the disrespect that Demon1 is showing right now. He doesn't even care about utility, he doesn't care about ults. That's dangerous. Dog used, and that should cue the op is B. Do they still choose to go that way though? They might. Nice reposition from Demon One. I've got your trail. Oh, he stuck that. Oh, surely he's dead. Yeah, he is. Tried to get up a little bit too far, and Marv was there to greet him. Now the Seeker's used. Where do they go from here? Cloud Nine with a quiet moment to settle things down. Still have a few options. Still just one rifle in the hands of Whippy. Look at the setup, though. It's beautiful. And once again, Cloud9 are on the run. They continue to pivot. This pendulum swings back and forth with no real place to land. 30 seconds left. No way. He takes it! No way. Of course he takes it! Gets his three. The damage is done. Wow, Doug. Dude, <laughs> it was like you could hear his thoughts. Walks into the smoke, looks at the spit, and goes, yeah, yeah, I could do that. I mean, talk about taking a page from Oxy's book. Yeah, I'm just playing like it's ranked. That's yeah, the that's most ranked play I've ever seen, pushing a Viper volley. I mean, but the timing was perfect. He hit, the, he hit it just right. And yes, it was a lighter buy, but... Again, you know, you've mentioned Dre a couple times throughout this map, the confidence that it seems like energy are playing with, the, the just kind of like swagger and, and carefree attitude with which they play. If that's not a perfect indication of that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and that's after losing what? Four rounds? Yeah. Deep Smoke, Ethan, taking a little step back. Marv is there to help. And they smoked off the right side. That ult might not get deep enough. Yeah, he can't see anything. No target is given. No inch afforded. Here we go. They're going to push into spawn again. They've done this so many times. This time it's without a flash. The paranoia is great. 
and they can't do anything else. Yeah, they're gonna invest the ult. Whippy's trying to push out a spawn. They've managed to get the spike down. Can Van Eden and Whippy hold them back in a 2v3 as the spike ticks away? Time could be the great difference maker here. As the wall goes down, the tap is there. It's enough to draw out the spam and punish. That's exactly what they do. Now Vanity with 61 HP, down to 21, gets the first, will not find the second. NRG get another round. Absolutely beautiful. NRG making the adaptations, knowing C9 is trying to take the fight to them. Early omen flash from Marv. A perfect timing. Completely obliterates C9. I mean, as the smoke Last is dissipating. It, the yeah, hand. it was beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> gameplay right now. And something that we saw already wow. throughout all of last year. Ethan and Demon 1. One enemy remaining. Just going off. What's crazy too is that, that paranoia didn't hit Jake. Had it hit all three of them because two of them were flashed. Jake was the only one who was able to trade back on the kill. It's just a perfect setup. 13 and 8 for Ethan leading from the front. Three Jeez. rounds in a row for NRG once again. And when it felt like for just a moment, Cloud9 might be stabilizing, reestablishing control on the map. It's all gone. It's all lost. Double op setup right here. That's brutal. Only an Omen ult online. That was a fake. I think that was a fake shot. Marv shot to suggest that that's where the op is and it's B because that's where he's been the entire time. But you're right, the double op setup. Demon 1's been playing over on A this round. It's a bait. 100% right. They did that on purpose. Crashy's getting one onto Zeppa, flashed up. Still repositioning and looking for another. And once again, they're in a spot where they don't have anywhere to go. Now they've realized they're pushing into yet another op. Demon with two. Vanity left in a 1v5 for NRG. Four <laughs> rounds in a row, and that gets them to an 8 for half. Now on the attacking side, we'll see what they can do to keep up that pace. See if Cloud9 attempt to do a bit of the same, that early aggression, the fact that they gave, they have really no options. And something I want to point out here, Doug, is uh, this A wall from the attacking side of NRG. Using full Viper utility here to split the site in half and use the orb to lurk up into Elbor or, or go lane. Well, it seems like Cloud9 actually might be using that to their advantage. Pulls See, Oxy close. is spotting. A couple of members mid, takes a little bit of damage, decides to double dip, and oh. that's just not something you do. Demon 1 on the other side. Crash, he's feeling some of the pressure. That class is not going to find any value. Look at the reaction from Jimmy. Well, I mean, they're going to be able to get on the back, but yeah, that's huge. That kill, I mean, potentially saves the round. Vanity falls, and now it's Zeppa who's gonna try to catch them slipping. He's gonna spot the first. Ethan falls with that comes the spike. He got Whippy, who if he hits a timing Last might find standing. something here, but now he's the one left alone. Now they realize, I mean, it's up. Wow. Beautiful reactions from NRG. Marv, knowing to take that space off the kill on Crashies into top mid. That's such a crucial kill, like yep. you said. Yep. Opens up the entire A site. And then Demon 1 with that first blood onto Oxy. It was pretty. He's trying to prove a statement right here, mm -hmm. Doug. That's now five rounds in a row for NRG. You imagine, although as we saw in the first half, it's not always the case. You imagine this round will go that way as well. Got a Guardian, you've got a Vandal, a smattering of everything else around it. You don't just have a Guardian, you have Demon 1 with the Guardian. Uh, yeah, it's a good point. He likes it more than Vandals, apparently. <laughs> what do I go from here? Silence on the attacking side. Here. Looking for any type of aggression, here. any type of mistake mm -hmm. out of C9. Trying to get info. Here comes the dog. Or goes up, Oxy goes off undetected off the paranoia. I think, yeah, they thought there was going to be a lot more aggression up in. So that's what? what? That's when they decide to take that fight and Jake with a classic from a distance. Able to punish onto the first. And Crash has a lot to deal with. So you see the aggression, the space that they took from Cloud9. Pays off. Found you. Victor's really far up. Does he expect Jake around the wall? Oh my God. Around the corner. It's a classic. And that's going to be enough. Gets caught with his pants down. Ethan on the swing, spotting a couple more mid, realizing he's feeling a lot of pressure, has to get away. They've got the spike down. If they continue to buy time, if they continue to fight this out, it should be fine, but cut on if upgraded weapons. Vanity falls. Demon 1 left alone. 
And what a statement this would be. One bullet. It's got to oh. connect. It does for a little bit. Switches to the ghost. And it's not enough. Wow. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Fristy. So close. Less than a second. <laughs> he went for it, Doug. He, he went did. for the one tap. So close. I don't blame him sitting at 17 and 6, but beautiful classic yeah. shots from honestly across the board from C9. Here. My classic does not shoot like Last that. No, mine does not either. I mean, that's. Remaining. He had one bullet and it just wasn't enough. And the thing is, I mean, Whippy played that so well. The spit behind him, so he had nowhere to go. Time was short. He had to take the fight. To Demon One in that instance. So it cuts off his route of escape. And that's what pulls things off again with less than a second to spare. Now, much like we saw in the first half, the tables have turned. All of a sudden, you lose the pistol. You're in a better financial situation. They gave him a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, they did. I mean, and it's a, it's a heavy taste too, man. It's full armor, yeah. full rifles. They've invested. I gotta be honest, if that didn't happen, you know, I think NRG would have just ran away with this game. Now yeah. we, now anything's possible from C9. Confidence builds up, momentum shifts. And already Oxy, feeling that momentum, taking the first blood onto Crashies. Poison's off. We've talked a lot about him, the star in the making. And man, if there's one thing that I've noticed in his gameplay, is that he, he, doesn't, he doesn't take a step back, man. He doesn't back down. Absolutely. I, I definitely feel like Demon One has been getting the best of him in this map so far, but he's not afraid. He's still going for the plays. And Zeppa holding W as well. Really nowhere for Victor and Demon One to go. Can you imagine the shroud will be over soon. Marv able to trade back on one. But nothing but a sliver of health. Paranoia not gonna land, but it does not matter because Jake's bullets do. Cloud9 will get another, and again, a massive second round of the half. That changes everything. That's legit, Doug. That's legit. So where do they go from here? Already has knives up. Nice little replay of Zeppa hitting these headshots. Closing out the round. Eco kills, always yep. feel good. Yep. Where do they go from here? Cloud9 able to put two rounds together. A financial situation is still great. You mentioned Demon One with the blades, so only Don't one them careful here. who doesn't have a rifle to work with this round. Seems like a lot of focus Get mid, of too. Pop flash out. You saw the setup there. There was a cloud burst, the flash out. Demon One takes high ground, and assuming there's somebody mid in that situation, they're done for. Notice how they give mid right away. Clear it, let them know that they're there. Yep. And we're out. Now we're grouping up for a sight hit. It looks like it's going to be pretty uncontested. Dogging in. They get all the info. It's a clear retake B. Here we go. Zappa from a great spot. We'll talk about it being a little uncontested. Oh, he finds value. Uh oh. First couple of blades miss. Finally connect. And Demon continues to push because, Look of course, he does. Why not? Surely you don't expect him there. Vanity decapitated. Oh. Kate follows suit. Three on the round for Demon One. And the blades prove to be the difference maker as he's continuing to hunt, continuing to look for more Oxy's there on the ground. He falls the ace on the cards. Hasn't connected yet. Whippy, play spoiler. He's unbelievable, Doug. He is unbelievable. Yeah, he is. How can he make it look so easy? I mean, just every time. Effortless. Whippy looking to play for exits here. He's going to get Wait a three kills of his own. No real time to make the defuse happen, but a massive implication when you look at the financial situation for NRG. Huge exit kills from Whippy there, and he gets closer to his ult. Yep. Only two off now. Saves the Vandal into this round. I mean, that's pretty good considering what this menace did yeah. to his team. What a beast. One enemy remaining. He had a shot here too on the ace. Ultimately just doesn't connect and Whippy able to punish as we mentioned. So. Just like the eco round. Yeah. Whippy, Whippy needs to find Demon 1 before anybody else does. Because yeah. yeah. it seems like he's the only one that can take him out right now, Doug. <laughs> 21 and 8 for the duelist. A pretty, yeah, pretty good. I'd take those numbers. Absolutely. And honestly, what is an off meta pick on this map? Like I said, I, I have not seen a lot of jets in general. 
Solo Peace jets, that is. It. Usually you see the rays. Yeah. I must wait a moment. And NRG, honestly, not really doing anything different there. Just doing this early B util with the Cypher. They put the Viper util on A. Different types of walls for sure. Just really trying to get a feel of what the set out, setup is from C9. Once again, silence early in the round. As NRG have quietly taken a lot of space mid, that gate crash is going to join back up with Vanity. He's so far up right now. He's going to get the orb. And then he can flip the map if he chooses to. Oh, those Seekers are going to give away a lot. With 40 seconds left in the round. One of them's going the wrong way. Catch up, little buddy. <laughs> Finally starting to come through, and now they know the hit's going to be A. And take a close eye at where Ozzy oh, is. Goody. He's already back there. He's already gotten Demon 1. He gets Ethan 2. Spike down A. They're going to try to recover, but Whippy surely doesn't get cleared here, what? right? Mark just boldly jumps out and maybe he's got a bit more than he wanted, a bit more than he bargained for. Victor left alone, a 1v3 with nothing but 32 HP. The spike not in hand, 10 seconds 10 left seconds on the left. round. I mean, this thing's dusted. Nice. Top nine punch back, very nicely done. Clean round, clean setup. NRG just completely unaware of the person in the back site. And I think they thought that there was a lot more people towards B if they were playing aggro. And C9 no understanding that. I mean, the value that Oxy found at Elbow too is just perfect. That second kill, uh -huh. so crucial. Should be one. Nice. Let's go. Good round, Princess. Come on. Good round, Princess. I thought he was gonna keep his spawn. Is that how you gas up your teammates? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'd, I'd feel pretty good about that <laughs> if I was Oxy. <laughs> Another timeout called. This time from NRG. Still hanging on to a three-round lead. But Cloud9, I mean, they've, they've stuck in this fight, man. Yeah, all from that eco round. Mm -hmm. Kiran, swaying momentum. Valorant's such a momentum-based game. It really is. And, and I think this, I mean, this map is a really good example of just how impactful that can be. Those don't happen super often, but when they do, they change the tides of a half. Absolutely. And I think what Chet is going to be telling NRG now in this timeout is, Start rechecking the aggression from C9. Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's see if they're still in there, you know? Use utility, we can do anything. Cause C9 there. They went aggro that last round, B main, and completely left. So they had four on A for the hit. And <laughs> Demon 1. <laughs> He's just feeling it. He buys up a Guardian. No armor. Doesn't need it. Yeah, the, the classic glass Guardian strap. <laughs> yeah. This guy's just nuts. We'll see if you can find any value with it here. You see the rest of the buy for Cloud for NRG, excuse me, is not great. Early cam, not getting cleared out. Confirming that B is safe for now. And off of that they go, but Oxy is here. Really passive angle from him as well. Yeah. Oh, oh well, my gosh. All right. There you go. I and he know just exactly can't catch a break against Demon. I mean, and no that's a free armor. gun, Doug. Yeah. What do they do with it? Barb's the one who picks it up. The They're just cycling. Sight. They're just cycling the bomb. Welcome but Crashies gets all because world. of it. Now the pit invested. They have so much control on this site. I mean, do Cloud9 even... Do they even try to go for here? They're still just so far away. And look at this late lurk from Victor. He spotted them. Demon 1's going to be there with him too. If he gets the timing, this is going to secure the round. Nothing but... A... A small structure keeping them apart. Victor with two on the round. The swing on the classic. The clip runs dry for Zeppa. That's three for Victor. And surely that's a round for energy. Unless Vanity can do anything about it. It was one kill away from pulling up something ridiculous off. But it's a thrifty round win for NRG. Mm -hmm. Investing all they can in, into this round. It's make it or break it, Doug. Yeah, jump. pretty much. I mean, they're playing to win right now. An early pit. Towards A? No way. Oh my gosh, he's stuck that. Marv is deep behind enemy lines, and I don't know that he's been heard. Jake is staring in that direction, though. Paranoid about what's on the other side. Meanwhile, there's a fight that's ensuing on B. Marv gets the best of Jake. The map is wide open right now. Time to jump. And you can feel the walls creeping oh. and closing in, but Zeppa there to push one back. Oxy finding a lot here. Demon 1's got to find something, and he does onto Zeppa Oxy. 
on the hunt, has Take to find a way to punish, but nothing found yet. And there's that timidness that we were talking about earlier. Oxy beginning to punish on his alts. Doesn't opt to go for the crazy play this time. Huge flank from Vanity here. This guy out will seek him out. Well, I mean, you've got Vic who's playing a 52, and you've got the dog that's cleared out, so there's no way to know that he's there. On the flash, will be Victor on his own, and it's perfect. I mean, the setups have just been so clean. Another round, map point for NRG. So, so smart from NRG. Match point. Aware that C9 is going to invest that Viper's kit into that round, using the Omen ult to go. Honestly, anywhere in their spawn. Literally could have been anywhere, yeah. Keeping the Viper in that pit because he's scared to back up. If he backs right. up, the, the Omen could be there. Right? Party's over. That <laughs> one tap. I, I mean, and Demo 1 2 almost ignoring the, the Oxy ult in that instance. He had the Q that Yoru was looking at him, just yeah. completely undisturbed. The potential finishing touches on a map win here for NRG as we enter what could be the last round of light by for Cloud9. Again, the repercussions of the investment from the previous round. You've got a Guardian, two Guardians, and a little bit of everything else. Just Jake's ult to Vanity close by, but possible that it's involved in this round. Look at all this mid control they're able to get because of how they conditioned the previous rounds on their attacking side sitting all the way back in spawn using utility now we're able to walk up and get contact it's just beautiful fundamental gameplay right now from nrg Scout destroyed. is it gonna be enough to close this map out you see the cloud nine is taking a little bit of space they're marved expecting the aggression I think marved done here yet. is the jump spot there yeah i think so this is what i was telling you earlier checking the aggression from c9 they're gonna push into this. Hello. You swing out and you see all five. That's brutal. Vanity and Zeppa both fall. Cloud9 are left with three members and they're all on opposite sides of the map. Jake is gonna be the first. Is he patient? Does he wait? Does he try to get away with something? He does. Demon one falls and that buys just enough time. NRG not really concerned about that. They're just gonna commit to the plant. Mark dropping Oxy, dropping Whippy. Three on the round. Jake left alone. Can he pull off what would be a ridiculous miracle?